I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed. Repeatedly. What's next? You're gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. <laughs> <laughs> what's good welcome back to the channel today we are back and we are finally back on my rise the last time we were here we went head to head with the new day the greatest faction of all time right now we got mvp standing here the leader of the new hurt business let's see what he has to say you've got some guts showing up here not really See, evolution in the hurt business don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your intercontinental championship. Yes, yeah, psych. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? That's easy work, man. Easy work. Sure. Doesn't matter to me, because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away intercontinental champion. Okay, lock. We'll see. Let's do it. All right, I got these two clowns in front of me. Let's see what they got to say. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. Come on, use your head. Randy does have a point Gabe, here. you're going out there with him for that match. I can't stand I this dude, bro. Hear another word. Come on, let's go. Who are you talking to? A promising young talent with a lot of swagger. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! I hate the pair to catch frame. And his opponent, accompanied by Gabriel Slade, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 230 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Super Athlete Thompson. What Me versus him, literally Carmelo Hayes. Win one for Evolution and defeat Carmelo Hayes. I was planning on doing that anyway. Where are you going? Big spine buster. It's crazy. This dude is the future, man. Like in real life. Like seriously, this dude is the future. He's nice. But he ain't the future in this universe. Look at that. Ow. Why am I rolling out, dude? Yo, is he nuts? Yo, MVP, get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Yo, how do you fail that bad? Get over here. Oh, you reversed, man. I was about to powerbomb him right on that barricade. Look at that. Ooh, crushed him. What are you what are you looking at? Yeah, keep walking. Ooh, Yaranagi on the barricade. All right, let's toss him back in there. I'm making light work of him. Stand up. Clothesline. Spring Buster time. He's going to kick out, but I got to hit him with it anyway. Do this damage. Brain Buster. Boom. Let's go, ref. Yep, saw that coming. Top rope. Big cross body. Or I meant splash, but let's go. Two. He still kicked out. Really, really, bro? 
Why would I even fall for this? Isn't that why Gabe is out here to stop this crap from going on? Gabe. Oh my gosh. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Don't, don't run away. Get over here. Nah, nah, take this. Take this. Boom, right on your face. Yo, and you better get up off me. Get up off me. I'm out of stamina. Oh, no, I'm out of stamina. Alright. Let's go over there. Alright, I'm gonna roll back in so I can regain my stamina. Boom! Yo, stop talking to me, bro. I'm about to go out there and suplex you. Yo, Gabe is there for literally no reason. He's not helping nothing. Yo, what is he about to do? Gosh, that was mean. Yeah, no. It was a nice move, but it, no. They don't work on me. I'm different. Look at this. Drop you right on your head. I'm the champ for a reason. Eat that knee, boy. Yo, I'm about to... Okay, bro. I've had enough. I'm about to suplex him on his head. Get off me. Big neck breaker. All right. Hold on. I'm going to smack you in your face, bro. Bro, I told you to leave me alone, bro. I told you to leave me alone. Do you want to keep talking? Now you're getting dropped on your head. What, you thought you were safe? Oh, I forgot to switch targets. Okay, it's all good. Boom. Come on, cross face. He reversed it. Oh, no. I still got another one. Whoa. That's not good. That is not good. That's not good. He's going to try to hit me with this leg drop. Yo, he's trying to break my neck for real. I gotta use resiliency. I'm not. I'm not folding. I am not folding. Single leg takedown, Daniel Cormier style. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's over. Cross face. Cross face. Tap out. It's over. This is why I'm the champ. This is exactly why I'm the champ. Easy work. Okay, I just got done whipping Carmelo Hayes. Now it's time to talk to these clowns once again. All right, let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm gonna be in your corner to make sure you hold on to your title. I mean, I don't really need him, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be respectful. I appreciate the support, but I'm confident I can win this on my own. Besides, you said I was the next version of you. Let me live up to that for once. Good point. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm going to be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business will be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's going to think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Shut up, man. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to. Exactly. I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion. The Fina, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That evolution isn't some kind of crutch propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined evolution, and now you need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck. Okay, there we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship! Open my eyes, no fear. 
Look at the size of this man. Seven foot three inches tall, 400 pounds. The true colossus of WWE. is looking to build on his early momentum. The Intercontinental Champion will also be looking to lock up his reputation as a winner here tonight. The champ certainly has his hands full here tonight, but he looks more than ready. Here we go. Oh my gosh, he's tall. We're him down with strikes and grapples. So this match ain't gonna last long. Jeez, he's running me over. Really? He's, yo, he's trying to kill me. Okay, come on. Gotta fight back. There we go. Get over. Oh my gosh. That ain't gonna work. Yo, this dude. Alright. Maybe I do need some help. Oh, he's throwing me around. Yo, he's trying to destroy me. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Look at MVP just staring at me. Oh, my gosh. Get away from me. Get away. Yo, look at me. I'm worn down already. Get over here. Stunner. Boom. Yeah, take that, boy. Take that. You ain't nothing. Oh, my gosh. That was a mistake. Psych. Psych. Oh, my... I keep forgetting I can't grab him. He's too stinking big. I can't even do nothing to this dude, man. He's killing me. Look at this. I'm getting manhandled. Get over it. Oh, my. Yo, he has good head movement, too. Oh, my gosh. He's going to throw me again. All right, let's go, man. I ain't done with you yet. Oh, my gosh. Boom, big close on. He didn't even drop from that. Come on. Ooh, okay. Now we got him down. Come on. Gotta wear him down. Come on, let's stomp on that arm. Stomp on that arm. Boom. There we go. Wear him down. Wear him down. Look at this. Ground and pound. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. There we go. It's my turn. Boom. Big discus elbow. And another stunner. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Look at this. Neck breaker. Boom. Now, nah, where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to taunt. Look at that springboard. That's beautiful. Climb to the top rope. I'm out of stamina, dude. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to. There we go. The champion is looking to take things to the air here. But Omas has recovered and grabs a hold of it. Oh, my gosh. And he does, but of course the ref. Oh, the these refs, man. I'm about to get jumped. Yep, there we go. There it is. Mm. It's over. It's over, man. He did it. We have a new giant intercontinental champion. Ultimately, the combined effort of the Hurt Business is too much for the uh, to handle. I'm ashamed. You wonder, where was evolution? And now, and then they're still going to jump me like. Or taking it to the former champion. Again, where is Randy Orton? Where is Gabriel Slate? Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new intercontinental champion in Omas. I mean, I, I brought this upon myself. I definitely brought this upon myself. Where's Orton and Slate? They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. That's you exactly remember? what I said. Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? 
You. I've heard people say I'm a follower. That I lack killer instincts. Cause you do. That it's held me back my entire WWE career. Huh. I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You never cared about me or anyone else. That's Every true. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Yeah. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the new day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed. Repeatedly. What's next? You gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, stop it, bro. You're not the lock. You're the weak link. Yo, you're gonna have to see me for talking I don't like need that. You or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Finally. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again. No, nah, I'm gonna see you again, bro. I, no, trust me, I'm gonna see y'all again. This ain't over. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. String of bad luck, or all part of the plan? Um, I mean, obviously it ain't part of my plan, but... Yeah, we'll just say some bad luck. It was bad luck. I had Omas beat before the ref got in the way and the Hurt Business cheated to take my title. But honestly, it's for the better. I feel like a, a weight has been lifted from me. Dead weight in the form of Orton and Gabe. I never felt comfortable in Evolution. But now that that's all behind me, I can focus on what's next. Well, I certainly believe in you. But what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE universe. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Wow. Let me shoot with you. What? Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. He's really cutting a shoot Raw promo. From the lock. Yeah, he better be careful. Yo, it's another pipe bomb. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. 
I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine, AKA the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. Cause it sucked. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that? Not enough. And you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on. Name one thing. Okay. Let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. Wow. But even that didn't work. Because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit. Throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. That's why I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. I just got owned. Me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god! Just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't Yo. Think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I figured he was just trying to get Sean's attention and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Oh yeah, it's time to go. for him to just leave and let things cool down. Did Shawn Michaels just say he's fired? Wow, I, I've lost my job. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. No way, dude. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Shawn's okay. Three months later, WWE 2K motion capture shoot. We've got a ton of moves that can be before our top row move. So we're shooting mocap with Cole Quinn, the OG from 2K19. Yo, hold on, hold on, back up. There we go. So I went from up and coming prospect to mocap dummy. That's insane. Hey, get over here. Get over here. You know I'm the submission master. Look at this. Ankle lock. Pin attempt, all right. Just make sure the match doesn't end. We need to get more footage. Yeah, whatever. What? All right, taunt your opponent. Okay. How was that? Good. Boom! Not the stun. Very crowd. Like that? 
You heard me finish the taunt? There we go. Stop trying to... Bro, stop. I don't know why we're actually, like, having a match. We're supposed to be working together to get these animations down. But he's literally trying to fight me. Okay. Get over here. Oh, crap. I missed the corner. Get in the corner, sir. Why are you... Okay. Did he really just diss me? Who, are, who even are you? My bad. All right, pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, let's go. Uh, let's get a uh, kendo, kendo stick. All right, let me hit you with this a few times, bro. Get over here. Mm. Mm. Best heavy combo. Heavy combo. I don't know my combos. You know this. All right. Two X's, two A's. One. Stop, bro. Cooperate. We're supposed to be working together. Come on. One, two, three, four. Big drop kick. Okay. Might Light get combo. I think all X's is, is one. 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 Bro, please stop. Please stop. Get over here. One, two, three, and four. Well, we're here. Grab attack. Well get footage of a grab attack. Go um, nuts. Does this count? Even though it's a rope attack, but okay, it did count. Let's go. Let's keep things simple. Strikes and crap. Damage the heck out of Cole. Again, sorry, Cole. <laughs> Yo, he's messed up for that. Hey, tell Buzz I said hi. He just name drop Buzz, bro. Let's focus on getting some defensive footage. Dodges. I don't I'm even do die. dodges ever. I don't even know. Like honestly, I don't know how to dodge at all. Okay. Okay. So he has to attack me to do it. All right. Throw a punch real quick. Hey, Wake up. I know you Little punch. Time, WWE okay, never mind. I guess it, he doesn't have but to attack like me. Sorry, Cole. Exploder suplex. Give me a finisher. Hurry it up. It's almost lunch. Almost lunch, bro. Just bring it in here, bro. All right, we'll do the brain buster. All right, let's wrap this. Boom. Up. I just got word that our VIP guest has arrived. Who? What? One, two, three. Wait, what in the world oh is my this? Gosh. Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. Oh my gosh. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. Didn't I beat you? The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Exactly. Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, if you're doing okay, I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show, you know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Okay, ready? Position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Oh my, what is in the world is he doing? Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. Oh my. Yo, that's a nasty fall. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cole, stop. Cole, don't do this. Let me get him. Come on. Let's do this. Let's go. I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go. This was assault, and it's all on camera. Get off of me. 
You haven't seen the last of me. Actually, I think we have. You're fired again. Bye. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break and we'll continue when you're ready. No. That was a no nasty way. bump. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Should we wake him up? Yeah, I will think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the? Up. Did he just... Morning, sunshine! Yo, I should choke this dude What's out right now. Here? Since you never returned any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Hmm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been what? following you around for the past six months. I knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. And we agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. <sighs> you're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you. Every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right. We're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. This coffee ran straight through me. Oh my gosh. Okay, and that's it. So, um, I lost my job. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and you subscribe. Make sure you're on the lookout for the next episode to see where Marcel Thompson's story goes. Because right now, yo, it's, it's looking rough, man. But again, thank you for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.